the ZY here. I was going to give a quick demonstration of this um, 43 foot vertical antenna. Oops. For those of you in our technician class and you're wondering maybe what is a vertical antenna. This is a DX Engineering 43 foot MBVE 5A. And I also have the radio plate. And on the side over here is a one to one current bail. Right there. And that's from the wire man. Um, attached to the radio plate that you see down there are, I began with 20 radials that were 40 foot a piece. And yeah, that's the dog. Anyway, I began with uh, 20 radials at 40 foot apiece, and I stapled them to the ground. I uh, did that in the early spring before the grass started to grow. And uh, within my second mowing session, I guess, of the summer, the radials had disappeared underneath the grass. Um, <clears throat> then in the fall, that same year I added 20 more radials, again 40 foot apiece. My understanding is that the uh, propagation pattern tends to follow the radials and where it has good grounding, so I put out more radials. I don't know if every year I'll put out more or every couple of years I'll put out more, but um, and that way I'm replacing any that might have broken without my knowledge. Um, <clears throat> the lightning arrestor which is over here on the other side so there's a lightning arrestor down there um, this right here that is the ice model 303 and this tuner that you see here is the LDG RTC 600 a 100 watt radio, I don't have an amplifier, I have a very active dog that likes to get in the middle of everything. Uh, but for continuous duty with digital modes or uh, 100 watt CW, I thought the 600 watt model would survive a lot better than the 200 watt model would. Um, feeding this antenna down here. Actually, that one over there is 65 foot of Wireman RG213U, which is direct very capable, but I did actually put it into a tube. But I also drilled holes in the tube, so if it fills up with water, it can drain out. Um, at the end of that 65 foot, you'll also see a ground strap there. At the end of that 65 foot, here's where it comes out of the ground. At the end of that 65 foot is uh, 35 foot of Wireman Super 8, which is like Flex 400, so it's very flexible uh, to move it around in the attic of the house and to uh, get it down the wall and over to my radio across the desk. And so that's it. Here you see the radials, lots and lots of radials. Here you see a good ground strap and a good uh, actual ground and this is a 10 foot grounding rod that I pounded into the ground um, and really that's all there is to it I've worked people all over the world with this um, sometimes I even in FT8 mode I'll turn the power down to 2 watts and I'll work people all across the US with just 2 watts in FT8 um, 20 meters 40 meters 80 meters it's it's uh, maybe needs a little bit of help so this fall when it cools down I'm going to add on an inductor out here and, uh, and a relay so that I can switch in the inductor or switch it out depending on the band that I'm using and what I'll do is uh, I'll set it up so I can work 180 or 160 meters and 80 meters with ease instead of uh, having to tune every time I move a few Kilohertz. So I have that. This is N5ZY. And the DX Engineering 
43 foot vertical.